so what am I doing today? Well, I'm fixing some things on the old case. Stick with me. It is a case 585. It's a case international 585. Um, it's a 60 horsepower tractor. It's kind of more of a construction tractor. Obviously it's painted yellow. It's a good tractor. Got a lot of power. Uh, it gets the job done. But we got some work to do on it today. It's not much. It's just gonna show you how to how to fix some couple things on it. Got on it last night, tried to start it up, nothing. Thought the battery was dead, it was not. Found a problem with the key switch. So we're gonna fix that real quick. She's an oldie, but goldie. And she's painted yellow. It's not exactly a pretty tractor. It's got, uh, it has a lot of uh, uh, things about it that are just, it's not, a, you know, it's not an agriculture tractor, it's an industrial tractor. So it's got a solid front end. It doesn't, those are not adjustable. The, your front hubs are not adjustable or your front axles are not adjustable. It's two wheel drive. Um, nothing super special here it you know we fixed the seat as you can see um it's a good tractor it, it runs good um we've got some work we're going to be doing with it you're going to see some videos with this tractor in it over further inspection i see some wires off on the down in here on the ignition so I'm going to open that up today and take a look at that and see if that's what's causing my problem. So like I said, when I first found the problem, I thought it was the battery. And so I started charging the battery up. Well, that's not the issue. Uh, when I put the charger on it, the battery it said full charge. So we're going to pull this apart. plastic on this thing is breaking up. This is common area to break right down in there. That's broken. So looking at the back of this switch, this old switch is just wore out. It needs a new one in it. But these spades right here are broken off of here on this switch. I'm not going to be able to run into town and go get a new switch or probably need to order a switch and if this is the problem here then I think what I'm going to do see if I can solder those tabs back on for now until I get a new switch here so I can use the, the tractor the way it is I'm gonna get started on that so I got the switch out you can see those tabs are broke off right here very corroded that could be part of the problem I'm going to clean this switch up test it this is the original switch i believe it's made in england and that's where this tractor was made if i remember correctly clean it up a little bit hopefully we can make all this work That's actually looking pretty good. Most of the trash is off of the terminals. I should be able to hook all that back up and hopefully that takes care of that problem. I will try to clean up the terminals that plug into this. I still gotta look at those terminals a little bit more. I'm not sure if I can solder to that, but I'm willing to try. Here's the piece of plastic that was broke off in there. And it fits right inside of there. So it fits like it's supposed to. We're going to just kind of fix it just so that it doesn't it can help secure that piece of plastic again. I'm going to do both sides. Both sides have broke brakes on them. I'm going to show you both sides and how, how we fix them. First thing we got to do is clean the surfaces. Also, we got another brake that's right there. It's just a crack. We'll we'll put that back together too so like i said the the first thing we're going to do is clean this plastic up a little bit right here so that it's not um it doesn't have a lot of dirt here this has got a little bit of paint on it right here from the factory i believe 
And so we're just gonna kind of clean some of that paint off and and get that cleaned up. That's good enough. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm not going to make it perfect. Um, and I know there's better ways of doing this. There, you know, people may have better better ideas and better ways of doing this. It's just my way of doing it today. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. That's all I'm trying to do right there. So now I'm going to lay this in here, and you can see it fits perfectly up in there. And I want to make it just right. I have to push on it a little bit right there to line that hole up. Now once I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this blue painter's tape on the other side, and I'm just going to tape it together so that it doesn't want to move on me. So I'm going to have to push this together like this, put some paint, painter's tape right there, like that. And then I'm going to do that same thing up here at the top, all on the back side, just in order to hold that in place while I do what I'm going to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a river, so to speak. I'm going to follow the crack is all I'm going to do. And I'm going to start down here on this side, and I'm going to create with this iron, I'm just going to create a river, and I'm going to go down the crack to start with. And... I call it a river. I'm just melting the plastic is all I'm doing. What I have found is that if you do this, you start to bond that plastic together. And 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 that's all I want to do is right there. I, I'm not trying to do a whole bunch. Then I want to push this plastic back in to the river. So that way I create at least some strength to start with. I'm not I'm not trying to make it pretty. This is on the back side. Um, but I'm just trying to bond the plastic together so that it doesn't break easily. Now this will break. I mean, all I got to do is take it off of here and especially with as hot as it is right now, it'll just bust right in half. Um, and then I, then I just kind of smooth it out, kind of zigzag back and forth across it. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to create this river down the crack. Now, if you're curious, all I'm using is a soldering iron. I don't have any fancy tools for this. I have a soldering iron. Once you get done with it, you need to clean the iron, though. Remember, all I'm doing now is pushing the plastic back into the river. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some wire, just some plain old wire. This is... Actually, what this particular wire is, is old uh, fencing wire off of a electric fence. And I'm going to take and I'm going to cut. I'm not going to cut it yet. I'm going to bend it like that. And I'm going to bend the other side. Same thing. And then I'm going to cut it. Okay. These old pliers here aren't very good. But I need something small. And then that's all I'm going to do with it. Now, you want this to be level, so I'm going to straighten that out, or, or even with each other, because they're off a little bit. And so, kind of straighten them out and make sure they're even. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay this piece. In my case, I'm going to lay it right here next to this, right here next to this, this where the screw was at. And then I'm going to take and hold that in place, like that. And then I'm going to take the soldering iron on the other side, and I'm going to push on that until that uh, wire heats up hot enough to actually melt into the plastic. That's all I'm trying to do. Once I have it melted into the plastic, then I'll keep going across it until I get it completely melted into the plastic. Now keep in mind the screwdriver sitting on there is actually dissipating some of the heat. Uh, it, it's it's not going to allow it to, to, to get hot all the way across because it kind of acts as a heat sink a little bit. And... I really don't like that, but that's what I have to do right now. So once you have it in, like I do now, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to this side so that I can push the other side in because I have to hold that side down. Otherwise, it will pop right out um, because of the, it's still so hot. It's also now using the screwdriver because the screwdriver acts as a heat sink, like I said, and it's using the screwdriver to help cool the plastic. And I'm going to push this other side in until it goes until it goes in
it takes a few minutes to do this. This is, you know, not a quick job. Uh, and I'm going to put several of these across here so, so the plastic doesn't separate. Remember, this was broken in half. So this, this was not even together. All right, that's it. So, the, so as you can see, if you look here, that steel wire is all the way in with the exception of this little piece right here. And I'm going to go ahead and push that in without burning myself. Push that all the way in. Now that's all the way in. And then I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it up with the plastic that I kind of pushed out of those areas. Now, why am I covering it up? Well, that way the that piece of, of wire doesn't actually come out of there. It has no escape. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Now, I'm going to slip up to this area right here because I want this area here to be tight and strong too. Remember, your crack goes all the way through and it's broken right here. But if and this is not very strong the way it's together right now, um, this this will easily break right here. So I want to get the wire in here. I've got to make a special piece for that though, because it's got it's got this curve in it right here. So I'm going to create the same kind of bend as the the plastic itself. There we go. And then I'm going to take this side. And bend it and cut it off and now this will lay right in there like that remember you got to let it heat up hot enough for the wire to melt into the plastic not your heat gun so I'm the heat gun is on top of the wire uh, not on the plastic once that plastic starts to heat up the wire will start pushing in uh, to the plastic. I'm not trying to make the tractor brand new perfect. If I was restoring the tractor, then I'm probably going to go out and buy the parts that I need for this. I'm just fixing these little broken plastic parts that have been broke for a while. Once I have that pushed down in, in the plastic like I do now, what I'm going to do is just go right, right back across it real quick with the, with the iron and just cover it up because I don't want it to pop out. And so it's, it's already hot, it's covered up, now it's covered up, and you can see right there, that piece is covered up inside there. It didn't affect this, remember this is already, you know, ugly to start with. There's nothing here, there's a decal on here, but uh, that's all it is. I'm just putting some rigidity into it. Now, like I said, you could use staples. If you have like just little staples that uh, for, I would use the carpenter staples. I would not use the, like your household staple to paper together staples. Use something a little bit thicker. Remember, all we're doing is locking this plastic together because it just, it's ugly uh, when it's broken. And I would like to have, you know, at least this back together again so it's not so ugly. All right, that wire's down inside that plastic right there. Wire's down inside the plastic and covered up. Just do it again. So we talked about using a staple. Okay, so I went and got a staple. Basically, all I did is go get a staple, like it goes in one of these type of guns. And I take the staple and I break a little one off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that staple in right here, just like this. And we're going to melt that right into the plastic. There we go. She's melting in now. Okay, this side's melted in. I'm going to hold it down and push this side in. Just remember, you got to get that staple hot enough to get it to go into the plastic. And that's all I did. And that's how she works out right there. She's in the plastic. That means that now I have that extra rigidity in there I didn't have before. Once it's in there, I'm just going to cover it up with the, I'm just going to take that old hot plastic and just cover it up. So here's how I finally fixed the key switch, I hope. I just soldered these two wires into the back of it. They both go into the same terminal. 
I put spade ends on them, and now we're going to go hook this thing back up. That way the switch works. I'm not a parts changer. If I can fix it, I fix it. If I can't fix it, then I replace it. And these key switches are not that expensive. Um, but I do have to order it. And I, I, this will get it to running for right now. And hey, you never know. I may just let it stay. This is, a, this is not a bad fix. It keeps it going. So I'm going to go put this back in. I showed you guys how to fix the plastic on this. That plastic is now back together. This piece was completely broken off. I mean, it wouldn't even attached to it and you know now look that that's not i mean it's it's got wire in it there's wire inside of here to help hold this together uh, i've got those i have uh in this area right here i have those staples that i told you you could use on the smaller cracks they use the staples like this right here this is all has staples in it this has wire they use wire in this so that that uh this is a big old crack this crack is you know what about six eight inches long and so I fixed that all right let's go put this back on all right so I've repaired both both sides of this I'm gonna go put them back on I repaired the ignition switch it's working like it's supposed to okay so we got this thing back together again right here is where one of the cracks were and that's now solid this was completely broken right here and that's now solid so that that kind of fixed all of that up the this whole side looks a whole lot better than it did earlier that's taken care of. Let's look at the other side real quick. Uh, this side's a little harder to see, but this was cracked down through here. That's back together and, and solid. Uh, and then this bottom piece, I showed this piece to you uh, when, whenever we were taking it apart, and this is now solid. Basically, that is all I'm trying to accomplish. I'm not trying to, to rebuild it as if it's showcase or something like that. I just don't want the plastic uh, hanging and broken. And that's all back together. And nice and tight getting in here where this key switch was you can see that that's all back together now uh, like I said all I did on the key switch was solder those pieces back onto it uh, so that I can get those other wires hooked up okay I have fixed all the plastic on here to where it's not hanging and dangling I mean it's not show quality but it looks good it's not broken anymore like it was before where the pieces are just kind of hanging there and rattling and, and, and not together. It's bonded now together. That's a whole lot better than it was before. I've also fixed the key switch on this thing. So she starts right up like she's supposed to. And man, that makes, you know, it feels good to accomplish something like this. I didn't go out and buy any parts to do this. I used what I had to do it and we got it done. We appreciate everybody that keeps tuning in. Until next time, thanks.